Hello everyone, this is Sunshine Doll and I am here to bring you a quick 5 off of 25 um, Dollar General on the go if you need to. Stockpiles are getting low. Um, yeah, we are in an interesting world right now. We're just going to say that. I hope everyone's doing well. I hope everyone's safe. I hope you all are staying in your homes as much as possible. Wear your mask, keep hand sanitizer, spray, all of that good stuff. We are living in a very unknown world right now. Um, yeah. If you have any ideas how you guys are getting through this, um, any crafts, anything to take your mind off of things, Please let me know because this is unreal right now. It's totally unreal. But I did have to go out um, to my local Dollar General to get these. I had to have them. Um, we needed them in our household. So that was the reason I went out and I thought, you know... These are $4 a box. Why not go ahead and put a little deal together and see what we can do with this, okay? So let's jump right in. I'm going to tell you um, what I did to do this deal, okay? So we had a digital coupon. When you buy two of these, you get $3 off. These are $4 a piece. Then I did not get the digital for these. Um, I don't know why. But I did have some paper coupons. And these were a dollar off. They were on sale for $3.95 with the dollar off making them $2.95. I had two paper coupons. So I got two. Okay. I found a paper coupon for these. These are $2.00. And it's, it was actually the shampoo coupon, but as we all know, when it's a two-in-one and it has some kind of hair dealing on the product, it will scan. It'll go. So these were $2 a piece. I had $1.50 coupons, had two of those for these. And these were attaching to the dollar off for the gain softener and things of that nature so those were two dollars with the dollar off making those a dollar now with this one this multi-purpose lighter on the website when I searched it it came up for four dollars and there was a two dollar off coupon for it so I was thinking two dollars not bad I needed something else to go into my transaction so I went ahead and picked it up. Well, when it scanned at my DG, it was actually $3.25. So it was, mine ended up being, my total that I calculated was like twenty six thirty five, dollars which I still reached my um, $25 threshold with it being three dollars and 25 cents so that was 75 cent cheaper which was fine it still ended up reaching my goal so um and then plus the five off 25 of course so when all of my digitals came off i remind you i had digitals for this lighter i had a digital for this um fabric sheets and i had well, dollar, two dollars, and then the three dollars off of two for the always radiant pads. And then I had the coupons, the paper coupons for the detergent and the body wash. So with all of these products, and it is what eight products. I ended up paying $10.76 with tax 
um, I think I may have sprayed my receipt with the Lysol too much and it started draining or something. I don't have the receipt, but it did end up because, you know, I have my $10 budget that I do with this couponing thing. So I try to spend $10, maybe, I never try to go over $12. I make that allowance and that ex exception, exception, <laughs> when I have tissue and paper towels. So I'll go as high as about 12 bucks when I have that. But my usual is $10. This ended up being $10.76. I needed this transaction. I had to get it anyways. Just getting these two items. They're $4 a piece. Like I said, that would have been $8 right there. And it would be $10 with these three. Because these are $2. So, why not get all of it? Or it would be the price of two of these and one of these because those are $2.95 so that would be $10.95 for those three items and I ended up paying $10.76 for everything so I thought this was a pretty good transaction I thought why not go ahead and get some more body wash and detergent we're going to be washing for the rest of our lives um, we're going to be washing our bodies the rest of our lives and my baby of course need pads so why not go ahead and get this and this little gadget I actually got um, went to Dollar Tree as well since I was already out I know horrible horrible but I have to hit all of everything all at once because the way my anxiety is set up I have to really talk myself into going pump myself up and I would not have gone out at all if I did not have to get these. I would not have left the house. Um, but I ran low on these things and I use it to light the fire pit, um, the stove, candles, various things. So, like I said, it's a multi-purpose lighter. You use it for everything. We needed one. It was a coupon. Why not go ahead and get it? Because we were totally out of them in the house at all um, I'm by no means is telling anyone to leave their home right now because it's serious out here it's very serious um, it's just it's it's just so unreal to me right now I am currently working from home so that's a big change when I went out to the office every single day since I've been there school is at home everything has changed and I don't know if this is going to be the new normal uh, what the world is or if the world that we currently knew is gone forever it's it's I cannot even explain it. We took so much for granted. Let's just say that. A handshake, going out to eat to the movies. I mean, seeing a baby in the store and kind of going up and looking to it, even if it had a little snotty nose, you know, you just take the bib and be like, oh, she just has a little cold. I'm sorry, I live by an airport and there's a lot of well, it's not really an airport. It's um, They do a lot of air training and things of that nature. It's a small airport, but, you know, we're in the country. But, yes, um, I've been sitting on my porch more than ever lately due to all of this because we just want to get out the house. My baby always said she wanted to be homeschooled and now her wish has come true because she is at home and now she's missing her friends. She's missing that interaction. We all are missing that social stimulation that we used to have. 
Um, right now, I am just praying that we do have some normal normalcy because even though when the world does open back up, it will still be a whole nother year out from the date that it opens back up. It'll be like a whole nother year before anyone is comfortable going out at before I'm comfortable. And like I said, I have anxiety issues, so that's just for me. Um, and I'm very, I'm even more, that's what my baby said. I'm even more crazy with her because I don't want her touching things or going out or all of that. So it, I guess it kind of makes it a bit more complicated for her, um, with her being a child and not really understanding, um, what's really going on with all of this and why can't she do this and why can't she do that? I really feel bad for the graduates because they've worked all their life to get to this point and now they can't have a graduation. It's just a lot going on right now, guys. So please be safe. Um, be sure that you're praying more importantly than anything that if you do go out, you make it back safe. Um, like I said, we have tools. Please use them. The mask. I don't do the gloves because I feel like the gloves are going to carry germs. You have on gloves, you're touching all this stuff, and you go to get your money out your purse or get your phone out your purse. or And it's really no way that you, because you're still going to need hand sanitizer because when you take those gloves off, you're basically going to touch your hand or something. So you're going to have to wash them or have hand sanitizer. When you can just... Use some hand sanitizer. And I mean, I wipe the bottle of hand sanitizer and all of that. You are going, when you can just squirt a few squirts of that, then reach in your bag and get your money out, give them that, and then, you know, get to your car and um, wipe your hand again. I try to use the card. I try not to use money. So I can just stick it in the machine and um, like I said, have my hands clean. I don't have to have any transaction with money or the person just get my bags in one hand, put my card and secure it in my purse. And when I get to the car and put the bags in a trunk, I spray them down the bag and the items with Lysol or some sort of disinfectant. Get in my car and then put the um, Purell on my hand again. I don't know what you guys are doing. Do what makes you feel safe. Do what makes you feel comfortable. We just all need to be protected. Alrighty, I have done my ramble. Again, this is Sunshine Doll. Please like, subscribe, and share. And hopefully everyone is doing good on their little stockpile so they don't have to go out. Alrighty, blessings to all. Bye-bye.